வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஐபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் குவாலிட்டி மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் வியூ வேர் வில் சி த பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் லைக் இன்ஸ்பெக்ஷன் செட்டப் ப்ரொக்யூர்மெண்ட் டேட்டா எக்ஸெட்ரா பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சி த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் த ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் so what storage conditions can be maintained in plant storage location views so we can maintain storage conditions temperature conditions hazardous metal number container requirements these parameters we can maintain parameters in plant storage location both organization dependent and independent is it true or false true parameters defined here are at different levels like a client level plant level and storage location level what is the significance of shelf life defined see shelf life is to defined which is the minimum shelf life that determines whether the metal can be received or not for example we are having a material which is having remaining shelf life of 60 days but here the value is showing as 90 days then it will not be allowed to do the goods receipt so to understand this concept of shelf life i suggest you to practice it right you put some value put the shelf life value then you practice it otherwise you will not be able to appreciate this one this is mostly used in where the metals are very sensitive to the life like pharmaceuticals or food products those kind of materials but otherwise in generally in uh, uh, mechanical industries or other industries this may not be useful what is sled sled is shelf life expiry date it is used to define shelf life expiry of materials from data production in terms of days months etc so as part of uh, as part of materials management we discussed the basic views purchasing view mrp views forecasting plants of location now we are going to discuss quality management views quality management view contains the plant dependent parameters so we are having this view under the organization dependent the quality management tab which allows the quality department you now the quality function to define what are the basic quality requirements for the metal to be maintained for each plant it has two sections one is a general data another is a procurement data we will discuss them now so under general data sections it starts with the inspection setup inspection setup information is may if it is maintained already then the system will show here as a tick mark inspection setup is maintained so quality inspection user wants to enter the inspection setup so those details when he can click on that inspection setup button and maintain those details whether it is a, a in process inspection those kind of parameters can be maintained there next is the post to to inspection stock indicator this indicator is set to force a metal to be posted into the inspection stock when we receive the metal either from purchase or from production this indicator is copied into the purchase order and also into the production order but if this indicator is ignored if inspection type that is a stock relevant in other words inspection due to stock movement it will be entered in the inspection setup in the inspection setup we maintain this indicator may be removed and if a company is not implementing quality management in full right as a quality management module we can use this parameter the, as a to implement lean quality functions for example you can trigger this uh, post to quality inspection it is available in a purchasing view and also in worksheet link view you can trigger it so when you do the goods receipt either from purchase or from production stock will be received into the quality inspection then with the manual movement you can move to the unrestricted stock that way we can use this field it is available in purchasing and what should you do next we are having the quality management authorization the quality management authorization field allows quality department to add like a security that who are the people authorized to use this information for each material so an authorization group is entered in this field to check whether the quality inspection user has the correct authorization to enter the details and to maintain the details and then catalog profile the catalog profile is a one which is used to maintain the quality notifications procurement data tab in quality management view as the materials which are related to the metal for the quality procurement the checks for the quality procurement 
I mean the procurement uh, quality inspections during uh, procurement process. So first let us see what is that quality management procurement active indicator. This indicator switches the QM aspect of the procurement and it can be activated at the plant level or at the client level also. If it is clienter at the client, sorry, if it is activated at the client level, then the QM control key field should be defined. If it is activated in the client level, then QM control key has to be defined. And selecting QM procurement active tab also means that the system must have a QM info record, which is a combination of a supplier and the materials in with related to the quality parameters. Then quality management control key. QM control key can be defined during configuration and it determines whether a metal is affected by quality during the procurement cycle. This parameter determines various things like whether the technical delivery team uh, terms must exist as a document or if a quality assurance document must exist between the company and vendor or a valid purchasing information record must exist or a quality certificate is required from the vendor for each receipt or a block can be put in place against the invoice. So various uh, parameters can be defined in control key. This is one of the point which has to be explored when you are implementing quality management. Then certificate type. The incoming quality certificate can be required by the quality department for each goods shipped from the each purchase order for the materials from the vendor. Many different certificate types can be defined in configuration by following the, con in the, in the standard configuration itself. So that will be done when you are implementing quality management module. And then what is the target quality system? Here we define the requirements for the supply SQM system using the identifier and the accompanying description. So in this session, we discussed the quality management tab, the details which are having the inspection related details and the procurement related quality details. So let us discuss quiz for this session now. If quality management module is not implemented, can quality control be implemented with the limited options? If a QM procurement key is activated at client level, which field must be maintained mandatorily? What are the functions determined by the control key? What is QM info record? So these are the quiz for this session. Answers will be discussed in the next session. In the next session, we will discuss in detail various parameters in the accounting and costing views. Meanwhile, please ensure you create metal master until this plant store location views and also this quality views. Please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents. Thank you. See you in the next session. Take care. Bye.